All right, I had a little technical difficulty and I had to restart the video. Okay, Sunday, uh, February 17th, 10 a.m. still. <laughs> and I've got this canvas set up. It's uh, 18 by 24. And I've already gone through and, and fixed so it's nice and taut. Well, yeah, that's pretty taut. It's pretty good. So where, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like, I really like the one I did yesterday. That was the dark red one thing over there. But this one maybe like imagine clouds that are coming like like that. So white, yellows, and light blues, kind of like a maybe like a morning sun. Oh, maybe maybe in the opposite direction is bright white yellow kind of going this way. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But I'm still gonna go and paint the background red just because, you know, screw it. That's because that's the reason why. I don't know, I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, that's kind of a, uh, here, this is probably a better red. I don't think it matters too much. It's good to have a little bit of variation. See, that's what happens. I don't know, I can see it. The edge is a little slightly darker. If it's not perfectly stretched, okay. So all I'm doing is I'm putting like a wash behind because for a long, long, long time when I was doing paintings, I felt like compelled to cover all the spaces because the white was just, when it showed through, I just didn't like it. So I went back to something I've done in the past and I was reminded of this actually by a Canadian artist here in, in uh, well, sort of Toronto, his name is Tim Packer and he does uh, landscapes, like a Gonkle Park and, and uh, he does a backwashes in red, and uh, it kind of remind me, like, holy shit, you're right. That's that's what I was doing wrong for for, for quite some time, and, and so I was like filling up the whole canvases almost like obsessively. And what this allows me to do is it, it frees me up a bit to like let the canvas show through, and it's kind of like this nice warm color. So it it gives it it reminds me of like. A, some of the old group of seven studies where they would paint on wood and you would see the color of the wood underneath and it usually it was like a warm I don't know what kind of wood it was but it was like a warm orange brown and so this this has a bit of that effect and I kind of like it so uh, thanks Tim for reminding me of doing a backwash and uh, I might try doing all other colors in a bit, but uh, yeah, I might. Just looking at that painting I did yesterday, look at this, it looks nice. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This one I did yesterday. If you look he here, you can see the red showing through here. Actually, in a, in a lot of spaces, the, the red sort of pops through. You can see it, definitely see it at the top. See like that one red spot. I can't really hold it because I'm see if I can I can't. Oh, this is gonna be tricky, right? Right, right there. Oh, these are nice quality canvases. These are like solid wood. That's good quality. Like when I picked up the canvas, it was like heavy. And uh like you could totally tell the difference now. Well I can. When you just you have to feel them because there's this crap to get cheap the stuff like this the stuff that's made in China eh, it could be made anywhere but the stuff that I know of that I've bought in the past was made in China it was just just flimsy and 
shitty and especially with the larger campuses i don't i made the mistake of buying some just just trying them out and they're just flimsy as hell like they're, they're not stable right something like this this is like so actual solid wood not all the, the other ones the, the frames were, were were thin they were like you know a half inch thinner than they should be and uh they might only have like one cross frame so some of the good quality i have is like you know they have multiple cross frames for support like here 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 that kind of thing all right okay so i'll just babble in a bit to stall time because I, I need this to dry a tiny bit All right. So I know I need new paint. This, I'm using this from yesterday, and there's pretty much nothing here. Okay. So, hmm. I was concerned about more water, but I'm not going to do. I'm going to do. Let's do the horizon, like here, or at least the shoreline thing of this. Okay. I need. What color is this? That's red. <laughs> It's not going to help me out too much. Okay, kind of what I was thinking was something like this. Oops. Let me get my the old cerulean blue out. Oh, I got some more over there still. Okay, get some of the cerulean blue. It's gonna. It's not going to draw well because the paint's still wet. But I was kind of got this fucking cable in the way cable to my webcam it's like a little bit in my way let me just move it it's gonna shake a bit as I move the cable come on you I'm just gonna adjust this thing okay gives me a little bit of space all right cool maybe I'll zoom in where's the zoom okay that's a bit better zoomed in. Alright, so I'm kind of thinking like like these clouds, and there's gonna be it's gonna be white and blue. When all is said and done, it's gonna be white and blue. So it's kind of like this kind of an effect. So maybe there'll be lots of horizontal lines here, and it'll sort of break up a bit more. And then uh yeah, maybe the shoreline is gonna be a bit lower. Let me get a a green. Ooh, I'm not sure how long I'm going to last on this painting. I just got a, a wave of something I'm not feeling good. Ooh, what happened to me? I was, I've been up early, like I've already, crap, I've done a whole ton of stuff already this morning. I think I got up at like 5, 5.30, so this feels like one in the afternoon. Found an old, an old photo of myself when I was, uh, I had a, like a shoebox of old photos and it's one more. I posted on my Facebook page when I was like 21. I thought I was younger. I thought I was like 17 in that photo, but I was actually 21 because uh, I found that it was like I had. It was the reference photo for two two paintings I did. All right. Okay. So I've got the basis here. Now, I really like the dramatic effect of those colors in that painting. So maybe, do I still want to do this? The idea, just to reiterate, is like imagine, okay, here's kind of what I was thinking. Imagine there's blue and white clouds that are kind of like in a line, like, and maybe like yellow is from a sun. I don't normally do a sun. I actually might do a sun this time, like a sunrise. Ooh, that might be kind of nice. Okay, so this will be all light. Light sky heat. Wait. In the morning, I guess it would transition from light to, to 
darker up here? I'm not sure. Okay, so this could, it's already even light like in the pink, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of envisioning. So imagine if there's almost like, if I, if, I, if I do a kind of a sun, like it's kind of like, I don't I, I'm trying to avoid doing the sun stuff because it feels a little hokey. It feels a little, I don't know, kind of bugs me a little bit, but and I don't normally do sunrises and sunsets because I want to avoid that. I like more ambiguous kind of stuff. But this, maybe I will. Maybe I actually will. Okay, I'm just going to, there's the right kind of yellow. I've got this yellow. Okay, this is the right yellow. I've got, where's the other yellow? The other, other yellow is very lemony. And it's, I don't know where to put it. I've got, I'm actually pretty well stocked up for paint. Okay, I don't know where to put that other yellow, but I'm going to use this one. This is the one I want. Well, here it is. It's, it's so low. Yeah, so this one is is too lemony, and this one is a nice sort of warmer color. It's got a bit more red in it, so it's, yeah. Okay. All right, so let's, let's throw down some yellow, and then white. Ooh. And then let's just see what happens, like. <sighs> Hmm. Uh, I went for the blue. Look at that. I went for the blue. I'm just going to start putting some stuff down. Let's see. Like, I'm wondering if, like, there's bigger spaces up there. Blah, 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 blah. Kind of like. Da, 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 da. This, yes, that is the theme to Terminator. Da, 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 da. Okay, well, no, that's the right, that's not the right sound effect for this. This is this is all about Well, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to put on something. Gonna, people are going to laugh, but I know I like it. And probably I'm not going to get um, muted. I'm going to put on this. Uh, I'm going to use this app. Is it this one? Yeah. Relax Melodies, where you can create your own uh, background music. When I had to get my blood pressure checked, they had to take me into another room to to chill me out. And I put this on, and I my blood pressure went from like one eighty before down to like one thirty or something, <laughs> just because like I was I was too hyperactive in the. Okay, come on, where is it? Okay, let's, oh, I don't want the purring cat. Let's get rid of the music. Bye bye music. Where's this cat? Okay. So there's rain, okay, ocean. Let's, let's get it all set. Okay, urban rain. No. Okay. Let's start off with a, 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 uh, what's nice? We'll be good. 
campfire. That chills me out. A little bit of thunder? No, no, let's get in the mood for this thing. Let's do ocean. Okay. Let's just listen to the ocean. It's pretty chill. Any little crickets? That's a little bit too Nah. Okay, ocean. Let's just. Alright. We have a little ocean action. I wonder if you have one more just water lapping. That'd be kind of nice because I like it's more like a lake sound. Urban rain. I th I could have swore I saw like lake. What's afternoon? Oh, slow waves. Oh yeah, slow waves. That's that's awesome. I swear to God, there was a. Yeah, for the clock, cat purring, lapping water. Come yeah. <laughs> <That's> fucking funny. <laughs> that's, that's I want chill lapping water. You know, like you're you're at the cottage and you're you're sitting there on the dock. That's what I want. Distant train? Hell no. Okay, lapping water just... All right, yeah, that's better. Okay. Slow waves. I like the slow waves. Okay, just slow waves. Oh, yeah. That's nice and relaxing. Oh man, that's awesome! It's already like I'm like I can even feel my heart rate just slow down. Oh, feels good. I have to pee now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, what? Why are you telling me that? I'm gonna get it right in the sand. <laughs> oh man. Doesn't that feel oh I love it. Holy shit, if I go deaf, I would miss stuff like this. I wonder if I wonder if you go deaf you can your memory is good enough to to bring it back. Well, I'm just hoping I don't go completely deaf. Everybody gotta go pee. Ha 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 ha. Funny. Let's put, let's get into this green. Where's the green? 
Yeah, I don't like this green. It's too happy. So, but I'm gonna put it down as like a, like as a base. Just to just to layer. I'll do layers colors. Buen Domingo para todos. I don't know what you're saying, Norma. No hablo español. Is it español? Spanish? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Maybe someone can translate what Norma's saying. Hola, Josh. That means hi, Josh. Buen, okay, buen is good. Domingo para todos. Para? Does para mean but? No. I recently went down south. Where people only spoke Spanish. Like almost no English. And I was pretty shocked how poorly I could not communicate. They figure, you know, I can get by in French somewhat. I thought I'd be able to get by, but nope. Very surprised how little Spanish I know. I thought we'd be able to, like, do a little Spanish-English sort of, like, translation, but... No silly bad. I want to go to South South America. I want to go down to like Chile. And yeah, I've always had a fascination with Chile. I don't know why. I want to go down there. Argentina. Somewhere down there would be kind of interesting. Okay. I'll blow my nose. Turn down my waves a bit. Okay, maybe a little bit of this orange. Huh. I remember I had to rush out and buy this to a local place because my uh, I ran out of orange. It was, I think this little tiny thing was like eight bucks. Surprised how much I enjoy this <laughs> this stuff. Oh, I, you know, I think why I'm so goddamn happy is my tinnitus is is insane. It's this uh, this shit helps. I used to use white noise all the time 
I used to have white noise machines set up every, in every room of my house. It was back at the beginning when, when it was really fucking hard. It was hard. It was a bad scene, man. But now, I'm, I'm learning more to live with it. And, uh, I haven't had a bad episode for days. Which is, uh, which is great. Okay, what about... Hmm. I think I might make an orange. Yeah, let's get... Red. I have plenty of orange. I mean, um, plenty of red. I do have some orange right here, so I'll get some of that. Okay, so I just poured. A, I just uh, had some red here. It's hard to see because it's red behind. There's some orange here. So let's just try this red for for a quick sec. Just gonna get the brush going because there's already some colors in there already so let's just try let's just see what this does so as I'm doing this I'm also trying to like do a um, like a, what's it called I'm trying to like uh, carve out the shape of these little hills in the background or whatever they are so I'm putting paint so it just makes the edges of them more pronounced okay so I'm going to put a bit of white in there it's nice to get different hues it's very that's a very pink color isn't it hmm. it's too pink I'm trying to avoid pink well, to be honest, it's probably my least favorite color. Just something that feels gaudy. Wind, wind blowing out there. Okay. I kind of want some kind of muddyish colors. Like, yeah, I think I, I, want, I think that what's, what goes well. I think I just discovered something. Mixing muddyish colors with. More saturated colors it brings up the saturation. Yeah. So watch, I'm gonna muddy this up a bit. And by muddying, you just mix non complement oh sorry, mix I think complementary colors. Yeah, complementary colors. So like No non well fuck it. Non non complementary. So like greens and reds, you know, don't mix well. They they tend you know, they veer towards browns and grays and stuff. That's what I mean by muddy. Not as clear, not as clear to the primary color palette. See how this is? This is kind of like a like a muddy. I don't even know what this is. It's like I just created a color here, which doesn't like you know. It's, it's like a purple, red, green. I can't even describe it. It's just ugly. But yeah, I kind of want that. So I'm gonna take some of this green, mix it in here. And I'm getting this color that I, I don't even know how to describe it, but I like it. Yeah, so it kind of adds a bit of darkness to the whole thing. Like a little bit of... Because I don't, I don't want to do like happy, happy Genki. Genki is like a Japanese word for like excitedly happy. So I want to look a little bit of... I'm a little, I'm always a little bit bittersweet. Everything's a little bit morose. That's just my nature. I like, okay. It has lots of motion. I like that. Yeah. So I'm going to try. I'm going to come from here. Wait. Yeah, this is the darker one. I'm going to come from here with different brush strokes. I like these brush strokes. These are like, these are a little, a little bit of Chagall and a little bit of Odeon Rodin. My man, Odeon Rodin.
And I want to have big sweeping clouds too. I want to have like, I need a bigger, I, I should use a bigger brush for, for those ones for sure. So we'll, just, we'll just fill them in a little bit like this. And I might have some just sort of starting to like break away and veer off up here, like not being too all linear. So we're going to add more yellows to the, these clouds over here. I should make this all. This brush, so I'm gonna uh, keep using it to clean it off. And some brown. Where's that? Back? There we are. A little brown, and I need more green. Can I make green? No. I'm, okay, maybe I'll make green. I'm using. This nice dark blue. And the white. No, where's the white? No, actually, instead of white, why don't I try using this kind of tan cream color? Let's try that. So it's got a tiny bit of yellow bit to it. Okay, let's make some green. Let's take some yellow. Take some of this to lighten it up. And it's probably need more. A touch of blue. Let's see what happens. Nice color. It's not uh, actually. It's a little bit on the light side, but it might might go well up here. It's kind of like a definitely has definitely green flavor to it. So I want, what I really want is a darker color, so it's just touch the blue. Touch the blue. And it just gets darker fast. Okay.
Brown. Let's introduce some brown. Oh, isn't that nice? That's a surprise. It wasn't super brown. It mixed with the green and the blues. And it came to something new. Trying to give an impression of like as if there's trees in the background. That's sort of what I'm playing with right now. Oops, that's a little bit on the dark side. Let's try lightening a lighter brown. So I'll take some of this, take some of that. Need more. I had too much blue loaded up, so it's not turning into the brown I want, but it is turning into something. Which is kind of this murky color. Ooh, that's kind of it's kind of a nice murky color. Is there a light brown? No. Okay, let's make a let's make a light brown. Uh, and let's go back with that idea of using this tan color. Make a light brown. Uh, yeah, there we go. Sometimes a little bit of just silly colors. Like, look at this green. Why would that ever be in the sky? It wouldn't. Sometimes it's just fun to do it. Just to screw around with things. Just. I think it would be good to have like lots of little brush strokes down here. Maybe. Nah. I think I need a, a, a finer brush to do that with. Hmm. Yeah, right now it's it's still quite messy. Like it's the composition isn't where I want it to be.
Hmm. Oh, that's too white. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I need to smoke it up a bit. Oh, maybe the shadows, maybe there's like shadows on the clouds. Like maybe, yeah, there's something like this going on. There's a bit of a color on this side of the clouds. I mean, I like the red, but I'm slowly going to be killing this red off. I just want to see where I can where I can go with it. So you got to have this idea of these red clouds coming across. Definitely got to step back and check out the composition. So I might take a break soon, just to, because I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure. There's something, some kind of flavor that isn't working. Something. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so it's some kind of. some life into it somehow. I'm not quite sure how. It might be just these kind of like streaks of colors. I like how it's warming up. It's, it's warm up on this side. But it's too it's too streaky right now. Too streaky. Well that's kind of a nice idea. A yellow a yellow white Yeah. See, I just need to. I just need to play a bit. I need to just let my hand do the work and not even think about it. That's kind of what I was. You no. Know, I definitely had more. I definitely had more blue sky in, in this idea in my head. So I still might. I still might try to do that. It's turning out to be quite green because I'm being lazy and not and not switching brushes. But screw it. Sometimes the best stuff is just mistakes. The stuff is just mistakes. Yes. Yeah, because I want this to be more like a blue sky. Yeah, sometimes you just got you just gotta just do stuff. You just gotta just play with it. I think I like doing sound effects because it kind of like makes me more playing. It takes my it takes me out of my own head. 
you know, and it's just like, reminds me of when I used to play as a kid, when I would, uh, my favorite things would be, at, I'd be underwater and taking sand and dropping it and watching it fall on the ground like little atomic bombs. <laughs> and I would just do that for, for like chunks of time. I was like in the summer, you know, just floating there just on the surface of the water, just a, you have a snorkel and mask on and you're just, you're dropping these little sand nukes. <laughs> And I think in my head I was probably going Shh. something's come it's coming together somehow. Not quite there yet, but I got a I got a basis for something. Yeah, I mean I could keep on going, but maybe I'll just I'll just uh. Different, wait. Oh, yeah, the, it's not good. It's definitely not good. You can see it's not right. Oh, this is a beautiful blue. Look at that. And things are definitely, it's not where I want it to be for sure. That's something. Look at that. That's nice. That's kind of what I was hoping for. These colors right there. That yellow, that blue, and the white, that's kind of what I was hoping to, to, to create. Yeah. That is just so nice. Okay. How can I oh, did I bring it more through? Just such a beautiful blue. I'm just going to try a couple different brush strokes. Like, what if I tried? What if I tried this? Just look. Just put these colors down. Color. That's better. I'm getting closer to kind of what I want. I think maybe this gets more of these, more of this blue, this darker blue. Oh, that's such a nice color. I'm gonna play with it. I gotta play with the, uh, the shapes of it. Maybe even like more dark around it. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. That pisses me off. That's shit. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, maybe. It was so good before. What'd you do? Here we go. I can fix it. I'm not too worried. Can I just fix it? Yeah, I gotta fix that. I like that white stuff I had there before. So. And I made it. Sometimes you need like a bit of space, like you need to have some like flat areas that just give your eye a chance to rest a bit. So sometimes, I'll, yeah, because before it was just too, too many little strokes. Let me just try doing this, just painting around and finding shapes and stuff and just seeing where it'll go.
Why don't we just stop there? That's a good, good start to something. I definitely want to just step back and look at it for a while. Yeah. It's not, okay, yeah, I still, there's that white, I kind of want, needs, definitely need some of these pure whites, just to, pure, yeah, I gotta play with this some more. Huh. Okay, now I promise, great time. I will come back to this later. Thanks for watching.